Hello, my name is Ambrose. I've got this mountain dragon here. And I'm in the Blue Mountains. Now, it's very spiny if you do this. It's spiky. And also ar around here, it's got some spines. Now, I have been trying to catch other ones, but I haven't been successful. I mean, I've caught them, but they've jumped, like, jumped down my hands. So I'm lucky that I caught this one. Now, their mouth is usually pink. It's very unusual for dragons, but in this case, the female is larger than the male. Hmm. And their colour can be brown or grey, like this colour. Now, it's got some little eyes here, as you can see, its eyes are very, very small. Whoa! And there's its mouth. I'm not hurting it, I'm just opening it up, it, it's not hurting it. There's its orange tongue. Its tail is very long. They live in burrows and they eat almost any insect. Now, in Victoria, they are in critically in danger, but not in other states in Australia. The mountain dragons mate in summer and they lay two to nine eggs in their burrow. Whoa! I got her. Well, I'm not completely sure if it's a boy or a girl. It, um, it is flat here, but it also has got some lunch lumps here, But so I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl. I know with knobtail geckos, if there's got balls here and here, it, will, it means it's a male. But if it hasn't, and it's just smooth, it means it's a female. That's just a fun fact. Sorry, I've been sniffing a lot. I've got a bit of a cold, but I'm fine. Um, now, they will retreat into le um, leaf litter and everything if feeling threatened. Now, and this one is not fully grown. It's still a baby because of its size. Because they can grow a bit bigger than this. I'm just going to put her back. Whoa! He is gone! I better say goodbye, so thanks for watching and bye for now. I'll see you on our next adventure. Sub and subscribe so you can join me on our next adventure. so beautiful. This mountain dragon is smaller and it's got like a bit more of a red head. It seems by all the ones I've seen and tried to catch but unsuccessfully catch that the smaller ones have red on their head so it probably means that they're younger than the older one I saw. I'm just going to put him down. Woo! There he goes. I caught this guy as well. He likes that. Or she. It's quite white underneath. Whoa! Oh, the fussy little guy. There he be free. Well, there he goes. I've got this other guy here. Whoa! He just stuck his tongue out. Whoop! There is well, there's his mouth. Whoop! He's a very um cute guy, like all the others I found. Put him 
now. There. I've got this one here. He really wants to escape. He's not, oh, his tongue's licking me. Oh, better put him down. There he goes. There's another one here. Gonna let him free. Oh, there he is. I've got this another one which is a very a not, a scary one. He's like, whoa! He's like trying to bite me, like, let me at you! Whoa! I'm gonna put him back. I don't wanna get bitten by him. Well, I did. I got bitten by him before I did this, the movie. I'm gonna get you there. Whoa! He seems like he's in a like defense pose. That one. Defense pose. Oh, there he goes. Hi guys! I caught this bigger one, and because I've got a different T-shirt on, it's because um this is another day, a day after I've caught. I found all those smaller ones. He is very. I can tell it's a boy because it's got some little dots here and here. You probably can't see it, but I'm pretty sure this one is a boy. And you don't want to get bitten by this one. It will probably hurt a lot. Just going to put him down. Oh, and he's got some, like, blue dots here, which looks quite pretty. There he is. Whoa! He's gone! I better say goodbye, so thanks for watching and bye for now. I'll see you on our next adventure. Subscribe so you can join me on our next adventure.